December 2015, I went on YouTube with one of my videos, my first crock pot video, and I cooked an awesome ribeye. Matter of fact, two of them, baby, two of them. And I had people say, you must be crazy. And I'm like, hey, man, grab a beer and chill out. Relax. Enjoy the show. Get out your little meat, meat stuff, the stuff that kind of chop your meat up real good. Get that stuff, man, and go to using it. Hey, follow me. Anyway, I say, you know what? I'm going to go back and check out my classic. So I went back and looked at it, and you know what? I got to make, after a few little adjustments, I got it just where I want, Chad. So look, enjoy the show. And if you want a real good ribeye steak, follow that. Just follow me. See what I do. Watch what I do, Shay. And look, while, while you're at it and you're on YouTube, go to a new site called The Groovy Apron. That's my daughter, Kara Richard. She got her own cooking style. And let me tell you what, it's awesome. That girl can do some awesome, awesome cooking. Anyway, the Chef Bork. Talk with you later. Watch the show, Shay. Let's watch the show. Hot dang. And it's fun. Ooh. Ah. Hot yeah. Now I've got my taste going on. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Buck's Candid Kitchen. Hot dang. Hey, look here. Let me tell you what I got going on today. Well, I've been wondering what to do. I got two pieces of meat. I've got me some ribeyes. And uh, my problem is, I bought these beautiful ribeyes, but the thing of it is, is that they look tough. And I don't care what you put on them, they're still a little tough. So, here's my deal. I'm looking, and I've been craving, for some good barbecued beef. Some people say, you can't do that to ribeyes. No, no. Oh, yeah, I can. Watch me. Anyway, I got these two beautiful babies right here. You see these little rascals? I'm going to season them up. You watch me do that in a minute. And I'm going to put them in my old crock pot. And see what goes on. I'm going to cook them for four hours with a little water and some barbecue sauce and just let it do its thing gracefully. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you later. Let's see how it comes out. Let's watch these barbecued pull apart ribeyes, baby. Crock pot style. I'm going to talk to you later. I hear yeah, baby. Hi, Danny. All right. What I want to put on here. Put a little salt. I'm just going to do one side. I don't need to do both sides. Just put enough salt for what I think is going gonna, is gonna to work. You know what I mean? Now, on my barbecue, I like to put a little bit of celery seed. Not much. Not much. I just want to get a little flavor out there. Okay, gotcha. And I want to put a little touch of chili powder. Not much. There you go. Yes, indeed. A little touch of garlic powder. All right. It's all good, baby. It's all good. A little bit of paprika. Yes, indeed, you're my baby. A little touch of cayenne. Oh, yeah, just, just a little. I'm going to spread all that out. And here's something else I like. I'm going to put me a little bit of ground mustard. Not much. Okay. So that's all looking good right now. This is going to be a magnificent, magnificent meal. 
Yes, indeed. It's going to be awesome. All right, now, put me a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. Tomato bouillon. Not much. I just want to put a little bit on that meat and kind of spread it around. Okay. Pretty much all I'm going to do with this. Spread it real good. Ho oh, ho, oh, boy, if y'all can smell these ribeyes. Got a little bit peanut oil I'm putting in here. Maybe a teaspoon of peanut oil. Putting that in my crock pot. Okay. Now I'm going to lay my ribeyes in there. I'm going to spread that oil in there real good. Yes, indeed. And this is going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. Got that peanut oil on the bottom. Got Two steaks in there, looking good. Half a cup of water. Three quarters cup of barbecue sauce. And that's it. Turn her on. This will be done in four hours. We'll be back. And we'll see what's going on, baby, with my little pull-apart type ribeye barbecue. Ha-ha! Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs>